Hi, this is Blue over at You Can Blue, and as you can see, I've loaded up the Unreal Engine now. I'm going to be using two, uh, was it 4.1, 2.15. Um, as you see, there's a lot of options for different things in the um, Epic Games launch, or whatever they call it, but I'm only interested in Unreal Engine. Um, I've got a few projects up here at the top. These are just little things that I'm working on and doodles. So I'm going to need to make a new project before I do anything. Um, now, sometimes it can take a while to create stuff, so. As you can see, I'm just starting a new project now. I'm going to have to pause. Um, you won't notice. That's okay. There you go. So this is what you see when you uh, get your new project running. And I'm going to move it across to a new project. And then inside the new project, I'm going to build. Now, I don't want a first person one um, or any of the other ones. I'm just going to go straight with a blank project. And I want it for desktop console, maximum quality, um, I'm going to put the basic starter content in because sometimes there's a few useful little things in there. In this case, I'm going to want the effects. And then I'm going to give it a sensible name. Okay, so I'm going to call it my uh, wallpaper project one. Okay, and with that done, all I have to do is click create project. And depending on how fast your computer is, um, it will build the project for you. Now, we're doing this in blueprints, not in C. Um, I always prefer doing stuff in blueprints simply because I'm terrible at C++ as my tutor from several years ago will no doubt attest. Okay, and once it's loaded, which like I say will take a few moments, um, we'll go straight into the project and get building. Right, just going to have a sip of my coffee, I recommend you do the same. Mmm, lovely coffee. I was probably talking about something, as I mentioned, um, for some reason the audio didn't record the first time I was doing this, and so I'm no doubt telling you about all the important things you need to do, you know, such as life. Okay, so this is what it looks like while we're inside the um, actual game engine itself. I'm navigating by just holding the right mouse button and moving around. As you can see on the left we've got one folder which says starter content, and we're going to need to add some more stuff to that. Okay, so all we have is starter content. So what we need to do is go down to the Unreal Engine, um, you remember the browser we were looking at? So I'm just going to quickly delete everything, I'm just clicking it, selecting it and hitting delete. I love how when you record audio over something at the end, even if it's only been like an hour previously, it's a wonderful surprise for you whenever you do anything. So Epic Game Launcher, and if I scroll down a bit, I'm going to pick the things I want to add into my project. Okay, so let's see. What am I adding? There we go. And I've just added the zombie one model plus animation. Next, I think I'm going to add the water planes. Just over there. And add it again to wallpaper project one. And I'm going to need to add my lovely rocks. So where are my rocks? I can just do a search at the top actually if I need to find things, just using the search bar. Have another sip of lovely coffee. Mmm, coffee. As you can see we've got all our stuff inside our folders here. So we've got our meshes, animations and all that kind of good stuff. So this is the content that we're going to need. Okay, so we've got enough stuff here, so go get yourself a coffee, and I'll see you in the next bit.